So Leo, this is all about you. That's right. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. My name is Michelle. This is Born Without Boundaries. Please do click subscribe, help the channel grow, and ring that bell. So you know when I upload all kinds of content, including this weekly oracle and tarot card reading. We'll do a full oracle card spread here, and then there's a link below. If you, if you want some more, you can go over to the extended for uh, a full tarot card spread as well as the romance reading. For the next seven days, Leo, this is energy for Leo. Leo sun, Leo moon, Leo rising. Wherever Leo influences your natal chart, you can take these energies for the next seven days and you can apply them. Let's see, Leo. Let's see. I'm playing hard to get this week. What's up with that? What's up with that? Ooh -wee. What's up with that? What's up with that? Love is all around, Leo. Now, this card has many a meeting. Oh, sing sweet nightingale. This is having faith in love, believing in love, calling out to love. Love could be big love. I'm not talking about romance. That's the reading down below, but love, connectivity, feeling connected and feeling listened to, saying something, saying something that needs to be said. So expressing love, feeling very expressive, feeling almost in that high romantic state of not necessarily, you know, lovey-dovey romance, but believing in the goodness of the world, believing in the positivity of the world, things see, seeing things for their infinite possibilities, this feeling of music is in the air, that your heart is singing a constant song all the time, which means, Leo, these next seven days are gonna be really beautiful for you. There could be somebody coming and telling you something that you really, really wanna hear. This is definitely music to your ears, right? Feeling like you wanna dance down the street. Um, hearing something that makes you happy and makes you light. This is Gemini energy. You could be dealing with a Gemini. Something or from somebody that makes you light. This is not necessarily a message that is a direct message, like an email or a DM or a phone call, but it's almost like a message you're plucking out of the ether. Like you know something is in the air. You can hear it on the wind. And you can feel that something has shifted into happy. This is, this is the shift into happy. This is seeing the infinite possibilities, like looking out and waking up in the morning and the air filling up your chest and then exhaling and honestly feeling like you just feasted on that breath, like feeling the beauty and pleasure of every single moment. This is the energy that is Crowning your reading, Leo. Mm. Love is all around. All around. So this is also... Oh, <laughs> hello. Uh, first of all, trust the great mystery. This is diving in deep. Filling up your chest with that big deep breath and diving in, taking the plunge. Leo... What are you up to this week? <laughs> because this card pops out, says now is a lucky time. Leo, you're getting lucky. <laughs> That's the name of this reading, folks. Leo, you're getting lucky this week. This is definitely a lot of fertility, a lot of waka waka going on. This is, watch out, this is my pregnancy card. This is the making babies card. Taking that plunge, diving in deep. I think that you're picking up my innuendos. They're not even that subtle. This is diving in. You could be making love to your man or woman for the first time. This is taking the plunge and going the extra step, maybe stepping it up in a relationship. This is making something happen and feeling progress by putting your whole self into it, as well as your whole heart. And you're really gonna feel energized this week. It's not gonna feel like, 
you're giving something up or you're sacrificing or, oh my God, I can't believe that I'm doing this. No, 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 no. That's not what you're going to feel. No, you're going to feel, you're going to feel energized. You're going to feel energized after the plunge, like this deep, refreshing, oh, it feels so good down here to be lost and or surrounded by my emotions. And it's not even like you're, no, you're not lost in your emotions. You're feeling real good about your emotions. You're trusting your emotions. There's a reliability about them and how you feel. In other words, this is a safe place. Wherever you are or whoever you're with, this is the feeling of safety being surrounding you. You could be going home. You could be going to visit family or friends. You could be, but there's also, I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Leo, this is a good week for you guys. Co-create with spirit, but it's come, it's come in reverse. Um, this is really 3D abundance. That's what I'm getting. It's not like divine intervention or divine guidance or inspiration. This is, this is the 3D world. This is happiness in the 3D world, which definitely comes from having listened to spirit. But there's definitely this undertone of spirit supports this. Like this has, this has been a long time coming. Somehow you already were linked to your greater self. And that's why this moment is so, it's just so right and ripe. This moment is ripe. The fruit is ready to be plucked. You can't keep that food on the tree for very long, Leah. Because if you do, what happens? It rots and it dies. So you need to pluck that fruit and taste its juicy. Oh my goodness, everything is popping out. <laughs> Embrace the in-between. Now this isn't a particularly important time in your life, but it's a peaceful time. This is balance. This is about reserving your energy. This is about conserving energy and looking good doing it. This is also a Libra energy about having flair and being beautiful and being beautiful in numbers. The impressive part of Flamingo is not only their unique shape and coloring and the unique way they stand on one leg to conserve that energy, but also how they all stand together in order to sort of protect themselves like this visible flock of like shocking pink that sort of intimidates predators in a way and that's that's it's almost like you're coming back together with your flock isn't that interesting owl spirit you see clearly now this is the okay leo you've recently cleaned up something in your life, uh, you've weeded out those things that were choking you. You have exterminated those mice in your walls. Owl sees in the dark, he sees clearly. And I think you have so much hope and faith this week, Leo, that there is no way that your direction will be interrupted. You see, you see very clearly, you can be dealing with an Aquarius. It's like the truth has come out and has set you free. And now you have a reason to sing and celebrate. Two cards flipped out backwards. Surrender now. Oh no, there's no surrendering. And then turn knowledge into wisdom. This is my moon card. So it's almost like... It's not about surrender. It's about being ignited. Like turning on the ignition. Because there's a truth that's come out. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, let me see what this card was. Trust in the magic. Did you just find out that you were pregnant? Did you find out that you were going to get a new start in something? Did you find out that somebody you like liked you? This is the energy, Leo, of finding out and learning that you've made a breakthrough or that something new is going to kick off. Getting a new opportunity, getting a new chance. You know, um, yeah, but there, there's this underlying quality of Something was hidden and now it's not anymore. Oh, you just got some good news. You just found out that something you thought, no, yeah, you just, you just found out something that made you really, really happy. Something that maybe you hadn't thought about in a couple of months. But there's definitely this energy coming through of maybe somebody finally made a decision that they want you as much as you want them, Leo. This is the grounding energy that something new is starting. You're actually going to get this opportunity. I want to turn the camera around and review these cards with you, Leo. Hold on. It's a very easy energy this week. 
but there's just been something that's been announced. You're going to get an announcement. You're going to get a message. You're going to feel it in the air that things have changed for you and that your breakthrough is something that you're living in right now. There is an announcement that's been made or somebody finally seeing you lost in the dark and finally seeing your way through something coming to light. This is extreme loyalty too. So it could have been turned on its head. There could have been something that was, there was a betrayal. There was, um, there was a disappointment. There was missing information that suddenly come out and you can put two and two together and understand. You had been patient though. You'd been waiting. And I think that there's this energy of you using your time that was unsettled very positively. And because of that, now that this information is broken, it's almost like this extreme happiness. There was definitely something that was kept under wraps. Maybe it was kept under wraps by you. And now you can finally tell somebody the truth or say it to them. This has the energy, if this is a relationship, this has the energy of somebody being in a committed relationship to somebody else and you could not tell them how you really felt, Leo, but now you can finally share it with them because what had happened, what was being kept under wraps was their relationship was falling apart. And that's not a good thing. That's not something that we celebrate, but it's definitely about sort of, and I don't even necessarily feel like you waited for this person so much as you're just happy that they're available again. Or there's this energy of you avoided a huge disaster by seeing something that other people did not, something that was hidden, something that maybe other people didn't believe was going on, but you intuitively felt there was something covert. And so you saw that your way through. You, you didn't believe the ambiguity of the situation. You knew that something more sinister, let me say, was going on, something that people wanted to keep under wraps. And because of that, you avoided a circumstance which could have made your life more difficult for a while, Leo. But now all of a sudden, bada bing, bada boom, everything is, everything's coming up roses and everything is brand new. You actually get a new start. You avoided some sort of trouble here, Leo. And your life is picking up and the abundance in your life is rolling in because you avoided it. You dove real, real deep. You probably like readjusted your attention and focus back to your family. Whereas other people around you may have been got caught up and in, in, embroiled in a bunch of BS. You didn't waste your time on that, Leo. Instead, you turned around and you put your focus on your goals, your aspirations. Let's just put it this way, Leo. If you stayed right, your life is really beautiful right now. There's nothing but happiness floating around you. There's definitely this feeling, though, of surrender now. Some of, no. So you see clearly now, turn knowledge into wisdom. Oh, that's it. You totally avoided a disaster, and that's why you're so happy. You completely and totally avoided a train wreck because you picked up on this. This was, this is my moth to a flame card, but that's, it's in reverse. So literally this is the moth turning away from the flame saying, I'm not getting burnt. Using its antenna to understand the danger and fly away from it. You kept yourself away from something that was hidden. You probably, you may have been the whistleblower that let everybody else know that there was danger with it. They, they didn't see it. You know, everybody else was sort of caught up in the deception of, no, everything's okay, everything's okay, and you knew that it wasn't. You saw that there was an issue, you probably saw it from quite some time back, which is why you've been avoiding the situation, and other people who listened to you are going to be very happy they did as well. But this is a blossoming of a new sense of faith, people having faith in you, of seeing your value without you having to fight for it or argue for it or or try to impress too much. This is new hope, new life. In the dead of winter, something comes through. So this also is the energy, like I said, of you finding out that you was gonna have some babies. Mm-hmm. Or you decided to make some babies now because it's cold outside and there's not much else to do. Trust in the magic. Hmm, 
you've got a bright future ahead of you, Leo. Now, what is going to happen in that bright future is interesting. Something that I want to delve into a little bit in tarot. And also more about this upside down moon card. Just to clarify. What it is you have to avoid this week, Leo. Because there's definitely going to be an opportunity for you to get sucked into something unless you dodge this bullet. But I really feel like you obviously, you absolutely will dodge this bullet. This could have been, to be honest with you, I know this sounds really like scuzzy, but this could be like a false pregnancy, a false pregnancy claim of feeling, a feeling like this, um, like somebody telling you that they were pregnant, but it really not being the truth. It being sort of a trap that was set. And you kind of knew that things weren't right. Even though they looked really good, you didn't believe it. You wanted to know what was going on, on, on under the surface. And it was that inquiry that kind of revealed, maybe there's going to be a baby, but not really sure the baby is yours. Or maybe there is a baby. Like what, whatever it was, there was, there was this untruth that something was being kept for you intentionally. Intentionally, intentionally trying to sort of stall you in some way. But you know what? You saw through it. You avoided the damage. I'm going to go over into the full tarot card spread and the romance reading. Leo, I will see you over there.